This is just a really quick video of a patient, diabetic patient, who had received an Ozerdex injection and then developed a vitreous hemorrhage. Now, whether the vitreous hemorrhage was related to his diabetic retinopathy or somehow related to the Ozerdex injection is unknown. But we can see this patient has had proliferative diabetic retinopathy and has received PRP laser treatment. Why I think this video is of moderate interest is, is just to see how an Ozerdex behaves when doing a vitrectomy. Normally, if there was an endophthalmitis associated with the Ozerdex injection, we would remove it. But seeing as how it's not really causing any problems at this point, uh, we just go ahead and leave the Ozerdex in the eye to help us with postoperative macular edema. In these patients who have vitreous hemorrhage, I think it's really important to get that anterior vitreous face removed. That's oftentimes where most of the hemorrhage, if it's to persist, hangs out and causes the patient issues. We just leave that Ozerdex there. Sometimes it would move around with the fluidics inside the eye. Most of the time it would stay fairly stable. And we perform additional PRP laser treatment as a fill-in pattern. And basically everything goes really well. This patient's Ozerdex stays in the patient's eye, continues to work for about two and a half months after this surgery. Thanks for watching.